work with any stylish landscaping. Bob and Mulvaney shows us a live preview. What a lovely thing to do. What can we see when we go on this tour? Hey, I'm ben. sorry. She's breaking up. Hi. Hi. You got me it's now? Bobbin out in East Sac. Yeah, I can hear you now. So tell us more about this tour. It sounds really lovely and tasty. You know, it is a tasty tour. Uh, Sacramento East Sac Seroptimus have been putting this on. This is their sixth annual. And it's an edible garden tour. They always raise funds for really wonderful, wonderful groups that are doing good work, specifically around women, children, and food insecurity. So this is my second time in the six years. And when they asked me this time, uh, I had actually stripped my garden down to nothing and had to put a French drain in. So really, I was happy to have a clean palette for them and to really do some fun things. So tell us, what can people learn? I know, obviously, when I take tours for things like this, I really try to take some of the ideas that I get there and utilize them at my own home. Anything that you, people can really take away from this as they go through these gardens? Well, mine specifically is a pollinator garden, and I'm hoping that other people are uh, featuring pollination in their gardens. I, uh, we raise bees at our restaurant on the roof, so I'm featuring some things about honeybees. I have tons of bees, hummingbirds, butterflies. Marin Conrad has painted a mural of a butterfly on the back wall of my garden. I have chickens, and I really want to encourage people to live with nature. Um, let those milkweeds grow, let those weeds go. They have flowers on them. And my garden's a freestyle, so there's no real organization of it. I plant at whimsy, and it makes me feel good. Oh, I love that. Now, I'm looking at the space, so obviously you don't have to have a giant space to create something like this. No, this is actually, you can see, I planted a huge Three Sisters. That sculpture in the middle is a Three Sisters, which is a traditional Native American planting style. I did it with blue corn, blue beans, and I did spaghetti squash because I really want people to talk about eating spaghetti squash more instead of pastas, all that gluten. It's a great option. I actually love spaghetti squash. Um, Robin, I saw the last name, so of course, you know, we are big fans of Mulvaney's here <laughs> at Good Day. And, and yes, big we, fans we of, are of you. <laughs> and a big fans of your husband, and I don't think I've ever had the opportunity to get to meet you. So this is so cool that people, you're opening up your garden uh, to let people, you know, come inside and see. Well, now you know when you all are having salad in the <laughs> evening what I'm doing. I'm home enjoying my garden. Yeah, and, I love and look, it. And, and, and of course, Patrick came out enjoying his coffee there this morning. <laughs> love this. Yeah, you saw that. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, your family does just some incredible uh, things for our community. So thank you so much uh, for kind of giving us a different glimpse of the Mulvaney's because we're used to seeing you all at the restaurant. That's right. Hey, be sure to check out all the broken uh, dishes that I've got, mosaics that I've built around that are <laughs> built into the garden. Um, I promise that none were murdered unnecessarily uh, for the garden. They have been broken and chipped by uh, clumsy back waiters and tired dishwashers. I love, I love it. it. That's cool. so cool. All right, Robin, well, thank you. You guys have a good day.